like a t-shirt. I never wear it out of the house because I don't want to get it dirty, but since I'm filming, I'm most likely to get it dirty. That's a sarcastic thing, but my videos are so hectic. Anyway. aka freaking bulldozer and welcome back to another video on my youtube channel so today i'm finally gonna film this i filmed it in december and i hopes to upload it sometime in january either the first or second week and we all know that didn't work out because i didn't like the way it turned out i couldn't shut my mouth and i had no idea what i was talking about when it came to the books so we're gonna try and do it better this time so, without further ado, let's talk about my most anticipated books of 2020. Okay, so, uh, Goodreads has Earth of House and Blood um, coming out the 3rd of April, but I still think it's coming out the 3rd of March, so we're going to talk about that one first. So, my absolutely most highly anticipated book for this year is Sarah J. Mass's new book, House of Earth and Blood, also known as Crescent City. I'm so excited for this book. I read... All, I've almost read all of her books except Tower of Dawn and the Catwoman book. I do want to read Catwoman, but I don't want to read Tower of Dawn. So, yes. But I've read almost all of her books. I love almost all of her books. I think they're so well done. I really enjoy them. I love the storyline. I love the the characters. I Well, not all of them. I hate Do uh, Dorian and Kale, but I love most of the characters, and I love the relationships, and I just love the storyline in general, and I love Sarah J. Mass. So I, would, I am super excited for this book. I hope it doesn't let me down because last year my most anticipated books were absolutely horrendous. So I hope this one is actually good and I'm not just psyching myself up. But I have high hopes that it will be good because all of her other books I really enjoyed. I've only given one, of, given one of them under four stars. So I'm really excited for this. The next book is The Shadow Between Us by Trisha Levenstiller which comes out the 25th of March. This book I don't remember I never remember what these are about until I start reading the descriptions so, so this one is about a shadow king it's about I don't know how to explain it this is the description of it this is the title this is like the cover for it it sounds really really good I just don't know how to explain it. I'm not good with descriptions um and I don't know I'm just really excited for it I don't know why but I am so that comes out the, the 25th of March too the next book I have is Maya and the Rising Dark by Rena Barron, which comes out the 5th of June, 2020. I'm super excited for this book because I absolutely loved Rena Barron's debut novel called Kingdom of Souls. I gave it four and a half stars. It was so, so good. And so I'm super excited for her second novel. I um, did not pre-order it. I don't know if I'll be reading it as soon as it comes out. I do want to get it eventually because I just loved her first book. But I don't think I'll be getting it at, um, by release date. Maybe by release date. It just depends. Um, it's like $18. Like, oh my goodness. Calm yourself. Because I'm not paying 18 bucks for a book. I'm sorry. Because if I am, why don't I just go get it in person at Barnes & Noble? Because some books are $18. So if I'm going to buy an $18 book off Amazon, I'm going to buy it in Barnes & Noble then. Hmm. Okay. So the next book is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. comes out the 19th of June. Same thing with this one. I will not be getting it. I definitely won't be getting it this year. I can tell you that right now. I won't be getting it this year. Maybe like late in the year, but I doubt it. I will be definitely, I will try and get it next year, but I don't imagine myself getting it this year. I'm super excited for it because last year I read the first, um, I read the original, uh, Hunger Games books that I have a video on, so I'll leave a link down below in the description box if you're interested in that. So I read those three, and I enjoyed the first two, the third one. Ugh. Um, so I really enjoyed them. I'm excited for this one. Um, it's also, like, it's already, like, planned to become a movie, too. So, yeah, I'm just, like, super excited for this in general. Um, I have no reason why. I just am, because I read the first three, and I kind of enjoyed all of them. Like, you put them all together they're okay. So yeah, the next one is what I, I really do want to get this year and that is my cam, cl, Calamity, Calamity Jane by Cynthia Hamm, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. This comes out the 2nd of July 2020. I'm so excited for this book. I've read the first two which are actually here on my shelf. This, they have My Lady Jane, which is the first one, and My Plain Jane, which is the second one. This, these books are, um, 
these books are like retellings of the, his the historic Janes. Like there's Jane Grey and Jane Austen. I'm pretty sure this is Austen. No, Jane Eyre. Sorry, this is Jane Eyre and this is Jane Grey. I'm 100% this is Jane Grey. This is Jane Grey. That is Jane Eyre. So, um, yeah, so just retellings of like the famous Janes in history. I have no interest in the Janes, but I do enjoy this series. It took me a while to get used to it because this one I was not really into, but I did enjoy the second one and I did end up enjoying the first one. So I'm just excited to read the third and final book in the trilogy. Pretty sure this is the final one. Um, I've been waiting for it for quite a while because it's just now coming out. So I'm kind of, I'm very, very excited for this one. Okay, the next one is Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Barron. Um, this comes out the 7th of August, and it's like a Cinderella, it's like a... Okay, so here's the description. It's 200 years after Cinderella found her prince, but the fairy tale is over. Teen girls are now required to appear at an annual ball where the men of the kingdom select wives based on girls' display of finery. If a pseudo match is not found, the girls are chosen, not chosen, are never heard from again. So, first of all, that basic description sounds so freaking good, and it's so gripping, and I just want to read it so bad. I was going to pre-order it, and then it was like $18 again. I'm like, okay, nope, you, no. I'm not paying $18 for a pre-ordered book, especially because I know they're going to go down in price. You know what I mean? Like, hmm, I pre-ordered this book. The fourth book and the fourth and final book in uh, Carrie Maniscalco's uh, debut series, and it was like fifteen. It was like fifteen bucks, and it went down to like twelve. So like, ugh, I'm not gonna pay eighteen dollars for a book. The f um, nope. There's three more. So the next book I'm so excited for. I pre-ordered it. It was supposed to come out the sixth of March, and it got pushed back to the August, guys. August. I was not okay. Um, it's Hollow Box by Jessica Townsend. I. I love, I absolutely adore the first two books. It's actually, the first one's not actually on my shelf because my mom is reading it for the first time. And I'm actually listening to Readathon where I read the series. Here are Nevermore's dates and here are Wondersmith's dates. More information is on my uh, book club Instagram. That's the tag. Go follow it if you're interested. I enjoy doing it and it's a lot of fun. Anyway, so I'm super excited for this one. It's the third book in this book of nine series like I read an article where Jessica Townsend announced that there would be nine books in the series and I was like oh my goodness um yes so I'm super excited for this one I think this might be like the last one in Morgan's point of view I'm not really sure I'm not 100% sure um but I heard that there's gonna be like three in Morgan's and then the rest were gonna be in different people's point of views I don't know but I'm excited for this book nonetheless so I'm super excited for it. It's got pushed back to the 18th of September. It was August, my God. I'm okay. Next up, we have the sequel to Kingdom of Souls. This has no cover and no title. So I don't know if it's coming out in 2020, but it is the sequel to Rena Baron's Kingdom of Souls. And I loved the first one so much. I did predict the ending. I did predict the whole thing but I do want to read the sequel um so yeah I'm excited for that one and then the final book that I really want to read in 2020 is Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco now the cover is so pretty it's super gorgeous this comes out the 15th of October and listen covers really pretty I enjoyed Carrie Maniscalco's first two books ever written but I do I'm not like super hyped about this book I I added to this list before I read um capturing the devil and that book was terrible so I don't know if I'm gonna I don't plan on getting this book on release date I don't plan on pre-ordering it if I'm gonna pre-order an $18 book it's gonna be one that I'm more excited for I am excited for this book nonetheless I do think I'll pick it up eventually and try it but I do not think I'll be picking it up within this year I'm just I'm just I'm just excited for it but I don't think I'll be picking it up this year Anyway guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't, give it, if you did, don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe down below. And hey, if you do want to comment on this video, I have a link in the description box where you can click. It's a Google form. You can leave a comment, whatever you want. If it's hate, sure, leave it. I don't care, but you, I'm, you're just, it's just going to delete that one or something I don't know but yes I check it every single week so if you do want to comment there is a tab like the top post or not the like, top top but like 
like the fourth post on the Google form would be my most recent video, which currently is this one until next Monday. And if you can't, if you have trouble finding a video, just do the third post and it gives you an example and like stuff like that. So yes, if you guys do want to comment, go click the link. It's a Google form. It has like, it explains what to do. It, yeah, but it's just a way to comment. I don't get very many comments. I didn't when I had comments turned on, but I still did enjoy doing them, and I still want you guys to have the option to comment if you guys are interested in doing so. Wow, that wasn't out the entire time. That's annoying. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for watching, and hey, don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Bye, guys. My butt is stuck to this chair. And hey, don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Bye, guys. I need a scarecrow after what you did Cause all of the birds know that I'm almost dead